A recommendation is uh, to work together with uh, public entities. Uh, you can build a, a, a trust relationship with householders so easily with them because they know that there is no conflict of interest. And this is a, a specific sentence, avoid conflict of interest. And it could be no uh, uh, private uh, entity, a utility company that is working with it. It has to be someone that uh, there is uh, a non-profit uh, organization, something like that to work with them. It's very important to build that. One of the recommendations we can make after the end of the project is to, to work with a local association that is uh, strongly involved in the, in the district to, to, to have the confidence of the households and to be able to enter in the house of the household and to, to, to have a strong link with, uh, with the household. After having spent three years working with, with the most deprived specifically on, on energy poverty, I would say uh, that the best tips I can provide is to keep it simple. Um, most households remain uh, quite uh, detached from their billing. They don't really understand their consumption patterns and the best way to, to tackle them is to provide advice on the major offenders, offenders that are constantly on for 24 hours, like the water heating uh, geyser, which could be 30% of their bill. And if you manage to convince the households to tackle at least those offenders, you can see instant results. And instant results means better engagement at a later stage. Considering how to communicate with these households, we were facing a problem that with phone calls, it was quite difficult to find them in certain uh, office hours. So uh, we identified that a lot of mobile cell phones, they got WhatsApp, and we used that as an asynchronous way to contact them, and it worked really well. Uh, we encourage also to use this kind of tool. Vulnerable people feel also ashamed of their situation, so it is a very important when addressing them not to call them vulnerable, not to address them as vulnerable, but to make them feel as uh, consumers. Uh, as I'm helping uh, you, I'm helping other consumers. Uh, and in, in relation to this, uh, a neutral ground uh, for the first uh, visit, for the first appointment uh, in delivering the advice to them uh, probably is much better than going to their household. Uh. It's highly recommended if you can uh, mm, work with a DSO or a utility company together. Try to gather houses that they are from the same utility company, for example, and try to have some sort of an agreement to gather all this information. After spending three years delivering SmartTip, we have some key learnings that we would like to share for others looking to deliver similar service services to vulnerable households in the future. This is mainly around being able to deliver that tailored package of support to households and make sure that you can sit down with them face to face, understand their own specific needs and vulnerabilities and make sure that you can address that through the advice that you're delivering. And this also means not just delivering advice, for example, around smart metering or using an IHD, but making sure that when you do deliver that advice, it's embedded within a wider package of support. So looking at switching supplier, managing fuel debt, and also making sure you're aware of other services that are available locally so that if you identify additional vulnerabilities suffered by that household, you can make those onward referrals and ensure that they get the best support that they're entitled to.